What is going on, everybody? What's up? What is this, uh, this emergency alert system? What is this? Why do I see everybody talking about it? Hold on. Okay, I guess be prepared at 2 o'clock. <laughs> Alright, let's do this. Good morning, everybody. Why, why is my chat not showing up? Hold on. There it is. Good morning. Oh, well, my phone's on Do Not Disturb, so I don't think it's going to go off. If anything, I'll just turn off my phone so I don't have to hear it. But, yes, good morning, everybody. How'd everybody do yesterday? Make money, lose money, take no trades, and let me know in the chat. How significant is a bounce off the 200-day SMA? Pretty important. So, let's go ahead and put it on the chart real quick. Simple. Be an average. Boom. Let's put on the 200 Boom. Make it red. Right there. So as you can see, we haven't tested this level since way over here. We pretty much tapped it in the overnight session. We're up 40 points off of that level on uh, ES. So 42.28, very, very important. Head on over to SPY, same exact thing. Uh, dipped slightly below it, but then got bought right back up. So 418 is where it was, or where we uh, were in the pre-market, 418.8. This was at 419.22. For me personally, I'm leaning a little more bullish today just because of the reaction that we had off of this level. Now, if we start breaking below it, then okay, I'll, I'll you know, ideally be looking for downside from there, but... We have had a pretty hard sell off right into the 200 day SMA. Ideally, would like to see a push back up into at least 4,300. And then from there, we can start looking for some fibs. Just break it down to a four hour time frame. We can go ahead and delete this. But again, remember, we just bounced off of it. So, let me be looking for a reject. Test of that four hour supply right there. Um, probably say. I'd probably go with this fib right here. Lines up at that 4300, uh, that 4302, which actually is not a valid level at all. Boom. So, yeah, if I'm going to look for a reject, it's going to be up here 430350 and then 431950. That's going to be the ideal fib that I'm going to use. Uh, we also do have one hour supply right here. Let's break it down to a two hour. Yeah. So, we do have one hour supply right there. Might watch the beginning of it. Um, but ideally going to be watching here and here. And again, we have the 200 day SMA that we just bounced off of. So ideally going to be looking for an uptrend entry. If we start breaking below this previous low, then I'll look for more downside. But that's pretty much it on ES. Start falling below there, then we could go down to this 4208, which is a very important level as well. But that's it for that. Let's uh hold on. Take a look at the economic calendar today, see what we got going on. ADP in nine minutes. So that's gonna be very important. Uh PMI 945, ISM 10, Fed speaker at 1025, and then another Fed speaker 1030. So ADP is going to be important. Good morning. All right, so that is it on ES for the time being. Once we get ADP, we'll get a better understanding of where the market would like to go. 418 is a pretty big level of that 418.30 all the way down to like 416-ish. 
Uh, so ideally, we'll be looking for a demand bounce. We bounce off the 200-day SMA. If I'm going to look for a reject, it's going to be here to here. So 425.40, 427. That seems to be the only area I'd be interested in a reject. Again, uh, we do have one hour supply, so pretty big zone right there. Ideally, watching here and here. So that is it on SPY. If we start breaking below this low, again, I'm going to watch that huge demand from 418, 30, all the way down to like 416. So just look for a bounce somewhere in that zone. Head on over to QQQ. Got eight minutes until we get this ADP. Um, ended up breaking below that little symmetrical triangle that we talked about yesterday, right here. Upper trend line, lower trend line, broke below. So I am going to look for a reject. It's likely going to be there to there. Uh, if you want to take there to there, you can. There's three different points that you could take. So literally just like zones uh, inside of this area. So 357.15 to 357.50. I know this chart looks disgusting, but here's our cluster area. 357.15, 357.50, and then 358.50. 37 up to 358.75 is going to be where I'm watching these rejects. So these entire zones right here, if we get above there, then we got more room. Let's see how close is QQQ. Oh yeah, QQQ's got a, a long way to go until the 200-day SMA. Cool. Then if we get down towards 350, I'd be interested in a bounce. <laughs> 50, overnight low, 352. Go. That's everything on QQQ. Let's take a look at NQ. And then we're going to wait for the ADP. And then we'll look at some individuals. And then we will go from there. Again, same thing. It's going to be multiple different uh, bibs that we can use up here. Give us a nice little cluster. Boom. So pivot high, pivot low, pivot high, pivot low, pivot high, pivot low. Oh my God. Come on. There you go. All right. Same thing. Going to be watching this. These clusters up here for a reject. If we start grinding through, then we have more room to the upside. That we break below this 14,586, looking for more downside. Uh, again, gonna watch that 350 on QQQ. And then we can watch here to there, which that's got a while to go. So that fib is not valid. This fib could be. Cool. So that is everything on QQQ, NQ, ES, SPY, and let's take a quick look at SPX. We got that, that data dropping in five minutes. Do they fight this Saturday? I think it is. Pretty sure. Let's see. When is it? It's coming up. No, it's not this Saturday. There it is. 21st. Oh, I'm talking about 294. What fight are you talking about? Wait, who are you talking about? Are you talking about, Why are you talking about John Jones? I'm confused. I don't like Target as a company or a stock. I used to own it in the long-term portfolio. I sold it. So, no more. Um, But pretty much, I mean, 4,200, 4,300, there's not really 4,260. Like the only other area that I really see on this SPX. Um, but not too much that I'm really interested in. 4,260, 21. But... 
what do we got we got three minutes until news as always if you guys do want this watch this post it in the chat for free make sure you guys run up that like button we got 120 people in here and only 38 likes you guys know the drill if if you guys want to watch this make sure to smash the like button and then maybe i will post it for free for you guys if we hit the like goal but any questions while we're just chilling here for the next two minutes answer a couple questions if you guys got them then we get the adp see how the market reacts and then we start looking for some individuals see what we like for the day good morning and as always channel members greatly appreciate you guys as always as you guys know youtube significantly decreased my monetization i wasn't making much to begin with and then they smacked me for like 60 percent of what i was making off of youtube uh so channel members greatly appreciate you guys as always Take a very quick look at NVEX because I know there was news yesterday. Mm, personally, not something I would touch. Just consolidating. Nothing that I care about. Yes. All you really need to trade is SPY and QQQ. Learn to master those two names and you're good. You don't have to trade things like Meta, Microsoft, Tesla, etc. Just gives a little more variety. But I know so many people, like, I would say most of the people in Team Bull literally just trade SPY, QQQ, or SPX, or Future. Something that has to do with the S&P 500 or NASDAQ. So, it's really all you need. All right, 20 seconds until we get ADP. Let's get the numbers pulled up. Boom, boom. Apparently natural gas is going up. What are the numbers? All right, ADP non-farm employment. That is not the number I wanted. Private payrolls at 89,000, expectation 150,000. Way below. Sheesh, way, way below. All right, let's see what the market does. Let's see what she got. Take a quick look at natural gas real quick. Alrighty. Just hope we don't hit the rejects. That'd be nice. Wait to hit the rejects, so mark it. But give this a couple minutes and we'll look at the individuals, see what we like, and narrow the list. Go from there. Air trading right above that high. All right, 10 more seconds with what the futures are doing. Let me know if we start pumping or dumping. There we go. Oh, 
Uh, NQ's getting close. Just hope it waits. All right. Let's start looking through these individual bulls. Boom, boom. Watch this. All right. Apple, do we like anything here? Absolutely not. AMD. If it went lower, I would. Not entirely interested in that reject. Still got that weekly wedge on AMD. I'm uh, going to be waiting to see if we finally break out of that. Amazon looks pretty weak. Mm. No, nothing on Amazon. Boeing just doing Boeing things. Baba don't care about. Coin sold off. Costco set the new high, so don't really care about that. Google, unfortunately, already hit the reject. I mean, maybe, actually, yes. If we can get up here during market hours and actually test that reject level, then I'll be interested. Because we did test it in the pre-market here before selling off. So, I'd be willing to watch it up there if it hits it. But, IWM... I care about Meta. Still want to keep a very close eye on this. Still looking for the swing. Very nice daily squeeze. Very nice three-day squeeze. Still looking for a test of that 21 EMA around 295. Get some long entries, but... Mm, I mean, a reject up there doesn't look too bad. But still very choppy. Don't really want to touch it. Microsoft. This actually doesn't look bad. Maybe reject. Microsoft. Yep. I've talked about that monthly squeeze on SPY. Watching that monthly 21 EMA. Um, I, I have a bullish scenario and I have a bearish scenario. I'll, I'll share both of them I'm with you guys here once we run through all these individuals Netflix will care about video very very close to that reject yesterday skip over that maybe I don't care about we already looked at QQQ we already looked at SPX and then Tesla Still with Tesla, would only be interested up there for a reject. It's not an all right four hour squeeze. Daily's ugly. Yeah, don't really like that. <laughs> so it's looking like Google and Microsoft are the only individuals that I like today. Uh, when marking pre market high lows, do you include crazy Wix or do you use body high end? The Wix, unless they're misprints. Uh, misprints you don't want to mark because they're not real. But just the wicks. Remember, wicks are as high or as hot. Our price went that high or that low. That's why we want to use wicks. Now, body. Looks like they're trying to sell off that news. But like I said, very interested in rejects up there. Um, only issue is we just touched the 200 day SMA. Obviously, we could blow through that on ES. So, definitely going to be watching both sides. Um, if we can clear the fibs and we have more room. But, yeah. Now, as far as my bullish scenario on SPY, ES, etc., etc. Monthly time frame. I've talked about this monthly squeeze multiple times. Let's go ahead and delete all this. Boom. Want you guys to look at this monthly chart. Monthly squeeze over here, fired up. 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 What are we in right now? Monthly squeeze. What are we getting very close to testing? The monthly 21 EMA. Remember, 21 EMA is very important when it comes to using the squeeze. 
So if we go to the uranium swing that we were in, right? What is this? Monthly squeeze holding above the monthly 21 EMA. What do we get? Nice move up. PSX. Daily time frame. Actually, monthly squeeze right here. Held the 21 EMA. Boom. We entered based off of a daily squeeze right here. This day right here. Daily squeeze right above the 21 EMA. Boom. BRKB. Daily squeeze holding above that 21 EMA. Boom. Fired up. So bullish scenario is we come back and we test the monthly 21 EMA. Maybe we consolidate for a few months to give that squeeze time to build and for large funds to start adding to a position. And this could go anywhere from the 21 to 34 EMA, right? That's typically the buy spot when it comes to squeezes. So if I make the 34 right here, boom, boom. Whoops. Right there. It could be anywhere between 4,200 and 4,058 that we start seeing the buying. But as long as we build support above these levels and continue to hold, it's gonna increase the likelihood that this monthly squeeze, as you can see over here, see over here, reclaimed it over here, see it right here. We can hold and support, then it's gonna increase the likelihood that the monthly squeeze will fire up and eventually could take us into new all-time highs. So, Again, this based off a monthly time frame. It's not going to happen in a day. It's not going to happen in a week. It's not going to happen in a month. It's going to take a couple years, maybe a few years for this thing to play out and push us into a new all-time high, especially if we do sit here and consolidate, right? Look at all this. That's kind of what I expect to happen. That's bullish scenario, right? Bearish scenario is TLT we used every single time last year to understand when the next leg down was coming in the market, right? Bear flag after bear flag after bear flag. I'm gonna pull up the tweet again because I like pulling up the tweet. Okay, let's find this real quick so you guys can uh, get a picture, make this make more sense. Hold on. Where you at? Oh, good Lord. I'm not going to be able to find it. Yeah, I'm not searching for that thing. Never mind. But every single time TLT broke down last year out of these bear flags, besides one time, the market then followed the next few days, right? So SPY rallies up pretty much back to all-time highs. What did TLT do? Sat in this range, did absolutely nothing, and I made a tweet saying, I am very interested to see what will happen in the market when price breaks below the consolidation. This right here. What was the day we broke below the consolidation? August 1st. Let's head on over to SPY. What was August 1st? Right here. Pretty much marking the exact top at 457, 456, 50, whatever. Now we dropped all the way down to a low 418.30. Or no, 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 my bad, 420.3. So TLT, this is my bearish scenario. Look at the monthly chart. We haven't seen lows like this since 2008, right? On TLT, which is crazy. TLT broke below last year's low already. So if TLT has been the leading indicator all last year, and SPY is still trading up at pretty much near, near its highs, last year's low is all the way down here. That's bearish scenario. So keep both of those scenarios in mind. And Obviously, rising 10-year yield is not good either. Getting pretty damn close to that next price target all the way up here at 4.993. But, yeah, those are my bullish and bearish scenarios. Hopefully, you guys found some value in that one. But, take this all, boom. Absolutely not. 
Absolutely not. All right. Let's get this bad boy typed out. Again, make sure you guys are smashing that like button. It would be greatly appreciated. We got 170 people in here and only 100 likes. Remember, if you guys want to watch this, you got to run up them likes. Got to run it up. All right. 25.4, 427. What's up? All right, spy. It's one day SMA. Definitely not chasing puts down here for swings. Absolutely not. 200 ASMA. Mm. I want to, I don't know how to word this. Level. QQQ. Gets between three fifty seven fifteen to three fifty seven fifty. Point three seven two three fifty eight point seven five bounce three fifty. All right, and then as far as individuals, what we like today is Google potentially. 134.6, not really interested in any bounces, and then Microsoft. Eh. Uh, big hard maybe on that Microsoft. Google I'd be interested in, Microsoft, kind of in the middle. So, Google. Six. Cool. I mean, pretty plain, simple watch list for the day. Nothing, uh, nothing crazy. HD got smacked below that 300 level, so that's not even valid. But yeah, not too interested in individuals. Um, I think if we're going to watch an individual, we just got to stay really, really patient. But I think the one with the highest potential right now is Meta, personally. Um, so yeah, definitely continue to keep your eye on this daily squeeze as well as this three-day squeeze that we got going on. We haven't done a three-day squeeze and it's been a really long time. So definitely keep a very close eye on that. Earnings, the week of 1025 and a month. Um, but anywhere that near that 295, if they buy it up, that's a buy from me. All right, sorry, get up here. Um, but yeah, pretty straightforward watch list. Like I said, we're bouncing off that 200 day SMA could lead to an uptrend potentially. Of course, could be completely wrong. We could just blow through the 200 day SMA. So if we lose that 42 or 423.5, look for more downside into 4208. Um, but if we start pushing, reject here, reject here. And I'm going to say the same thing that I said yesterday. I mean, I'm not entirely in love with anything. So I'm completely fine sitting cash today. It's already been a beautiful week. I don't need I don't need to force anything at all. Um, if the market wants to give me something, cool. If not, like I said, I'm cool just chilling. Taking the day off. But yeah. Now I caught yesterday's puts. 
Oh my god, why does it keep doing this? There we go. I caught yesterday's puts because we were rejecting right off my level that I told everybody I was watching. So, let's pull this up. If you guys aren't in Team Bull, we caught the exact top yesterday on QQQ. Literally did not go any higher. As you can see right here on my Twitter, QQQ rejects 360.5 and 360.93. That was yesterday posted three minutes after the market opened. Set on over to QQQ. Again, 360.93. Where is that at? Right here. And we smacked those puts. Just demolish them. Live inside of Team Bull. Um, but yeah, reject it right off my level. One minute time frame. Yeah, so inverse hammer. Elevated selling volume. Puts. Stop loss right above here. Boom. Fell apart. Beautiful, beautiful trade. But also, since we got 250 people in here, I do go live every single morning and give you guys a completely free watch list for the day. Plus, on my channel, I have over 800 videos teaching you on how to trade. So if you are not subscribed to the channel and you're not taking advantage of all the free live streams and free education that I provide, you are definitely, definitely, definitely missing out. So make sure you guys head on over to the channel. Click that subscribe button. It would mean the absolute world to me. Get ready to take your trading to the next level in 2024. We have 88 days left of 2023, which is crazy. So make sure you guys smash that subscribe button. No, I didn't. I wish I held to the bottom. I got out around 70% gains. 70%. Which is good. Unfortunately, and I said this yesterday too. I went lighter on the position because we had news. Um, I forget exactly what the news was. It was 10 o'clock news, right? I said I'm going lighter. I took some trims off before the news just because obviously, yes, this worked in our favor, right? And just tanked for the rest of the day, but it could have done the complete opposite and done it to the upside. So the risk was definitely there. I uh, paid off, but again, I did take profits off before the news just in case something like that happened. Now, had we not had news, I would have held the position. I would have went larger on the position, but you got to keep things like that in mind. So yes, it worked out yesterday or it was was it Jones? Yeah, it was Jones. Um, but yeah, I was able to catch this for a nice 70% move to the downside on the remainder. Two Fed speakers today. Got dos. But again, if you guys want this watch list, we need 49 more likes. I know you guys can do it. We got 151 people in here, 194 likes. I know people like the video and then just leave. So if you guys want the watch list posted in the chat, we need 200 likes. 49 more. I know you guys can do it. But in the meantime, you guys got any individual stocks you want me to look at? Any questions you guys have? Now is definitely time to ask. Time to ask. Carhorn. C-A-R-W-H-O-R-N-S. Whoops, I'm dropping in the chat. Make sure you guys are following me over there on X, Twitter, whatever you want to call it. I still call it Twitter. Right there. Boom. Questions. What we got, ladies and gentlemen? Uh, again, QQQ, watching both ways. Got rejects up here. Got bounces down at 350. Coming up towards the level right now. Pounds here. Um, depends on the weekly. If we can get, if we can continue holding this weekly twenty one EMA, which I mean it looks good. We have a nice weekly squeeze. If we continue to support that, I might actually be interested in uh. A leap, not a leap, but like a further outdated expiration, maybe like December calls. 
to take it back up towards this high but i do like that weekly time frame strong aggressive move up maybe we sit here and consolidate for a few more weeks on that weekly 21 to 34 ema get the weekly squeeze fire up uh when i am swing trading i probably have five to six confirmations before i take it Nope, I don't use Finviz. I just use my uh, Finger Swim squeeze scanner. What's a JD squeeze? Talking about the TTM squeeze? If so, rewind because we just talked about the monthly squeeze on Spy. Yesterday was a good day. Airbnb. You guys got until 8.50 to hit that light goal. Uh, Airbnb not too interested in. Oh, JD the stock. I would not touch this thing. Let's say 100 miles away from this one. Not touching that. Oh, uh, let's see. We looked at SPX. We looked at we looked at uh FNGR yesterday. Not not something I like. Exxon. Lots of trouble trying to clear that 119.63. Uh, we would have to get a solid close above there to look for more upside. But if I maybe a pull back to the weekly 21, maybe something I would watch, but not really seeing a setup that I would touch right now. Let's see, we talked about spy again. You guys will get to watch this. Once we hit 200 likes, we need 25 more likes. And then you guys get it. Uh, I mean, Netflix could spike again, but they sold it off. They sold off the entire spike yesterday, which isn't good. So I would avoid it personally. The entire spike just sold off and then proceeded to end the day red. So I personally wouldn't touch it. Uh, Jackson, make sure you read my first book, The New Age of Technical Analysis. I go over all that. Give you the entire rundown. What else we got? Other questions? Take a look at NQ. I think that one's going to be the important one today, especially if we start getting up here. What else we got? 17 more likes. You guys are getting close. Y'all know the drill. This is think or swim. Uh, the main thing that I'm looking at is a uh, spy on the monthly for long term. That's pretty much the only thing. Yeah, and make sure if you uh, if you got either of the books, the New Age Technical Analysis or the New Age of Day Trading, make sure you DM me on Instagram. That way I can get you in the uh, Brandon Book Club, BBC. <laughs> thank you, Fishing Holes. Thank you, thank you. And x again, make sure to read both my books. I'll go over all that, plus my videos on here. We live trade inside of Team Bull and Voice. 10 more likes. And then you guys get in. Let me drop it in the uh, 
drop this in team bull while we're getting there whoops All right, hey. Nine more. Yeah, we need more people in the in the Brandon Book Club. And if you don't have either of the books, I'm going to drop both of them in the comments for you guys hold on let's get the first one the new age of technical analysis uh so this book is going to help you understand the overall market as a whole really understand those higher time frames uh goes over a lot of my swing trading strategy and overall just working with the higher time frames to really understand the overall market of course it's going to make me get a tiny url uh so once i get this tiny url i'm going to drop that if you guys want to get it start learning more about my overall strategy you can get the new age of technical analysis using this link right here boom so that is for book number one and then book number two if you want to learn more about my day trading strategies specific day trading strategies a lot about fibonacci retracement spy qqq spx futures uh sniper entries new age of day trading stop loss strategies, contract selection, and so much more. Make sure to check out the second book, The New Age of Day Trading, The Ultimate A through Z Trading Guide, and it's really gonna make me get another tiny URL. That's crazy. Never makes me do that. There we go. So you can get the second book right here. Boom. All right. Um, yes, I would say two screens is ideal. I personally have four. That's just because I got a lot, a lot of other stuff, but at least two screens. You guys need three more likes and you guys get the watch list. Three more. Can you guys do it? Get prepared, drop this bad boy. There we go. All right. So as always, none of this is financial advice. Everything talked about in this live stream is based on my opinion and my opinion only. Options trading is very risky where you can lose more than your initial investment if you are not careful. So as always, do your own due diligence, use your own proper risk management, and I am not responsible for any lost funds. And remember, this is just the ideal plan for the day obviously the plan can change very quickly we could just completely sell off and break below these lows or we could just destroy my rejects and continue to trend up for the day that's absolutely possible we don't know what the market is going to do so again this is just the plan um and you know i'm going to take advantage of whatever the market provides me if it doesn't provide me anything then i'm going to sit on the sidelines sit cash wait for tomorrow so this is just what i'm watching Again, the plan can change. So those are the three things that I am watching. Spy, QQQ, and Google. All right. But that is going to wrap it up today, ladies and gentlemen. As always, everybody have a blessed day. Make sure to screenshot those levels. And yeah. I'm ready to print today if you're in Team Bull. I'll talk to you guys in like 20 minutes, if that. But yeah, everyone have a blessed day. Let's make this money. I will talk to you guys tomorrow bright and early, 8 a.m. Eastern time.